In the next episode we will see how Gyu Ju tries to turn things around from the chaos that has occurred between De Hei and himself. Where he feels he has found the path to happiness if he is together with De Hei. In the conclusion of the previous episode. Although Gyu Ju's family became increasingly disrespectful towards De Hei and her family after finding out they were trying to deceive their family. However, only Inna can still be open and close to De Hei because she sees De Hei's sincerity. Meanwhile, Gyu Ju continues to be trapped in the past during his moments with De Hei even though he doesn't want that. Thanks to that, he was also able to come to the past and ask De Hei for help, to help his sister. In Na, who already knew the evil nature of De Hei's adoptive mother, asked her father for help to save De Hei from the wrath of her adoptive family, because De Hei had ruined her own wedding and let In Na go while she was in the sauna. Inna tries to open her father's mind, because even though he has visited De Hay many times in the past, he still doesn't understand why De Hay cancelled her marriage. Until finally Gyu Ju went back in time to confirm this, he saw De Hay being slapped and forcibly pulled by her adoptive mother into the car. Even though Gyu Ju tried to block them, it didn't work because his body fell to the ground. De Hay's adoptive mother still won't give up on taking advantage of the Bok family. She asks for what De Hay can give her. She knows all this time De Hay has been hiding important information like Gyu Ju being able to touch her in the past. She forbade her to keep anything secret from her. Gyu Ju then came to help De Hay by making a deal with the fraudster's family by inviting them to become business partners, as an excuse to stay close to De Hay. He invites them to work together because he can only go back in time to moments with De Hay. That way his strength can be useful for De Hay's adoptive mother. Gyu Ju is determined to help De Hay's adoptive mother by stealing the future, as long as she allows him to borrow De Hay's. Even though their relationship has ended, Gyu Ju tries to convince De Hay, he is determined to go back to the past to arrest De Hay. He wanted to replay the moment when it all ended and make things right. He wants to go back in time to restrain De Hay. But that just makes De Hay confused, why would he approach someone who deceived him? It's all because De Hay isn't sure if she can stay strong by his side. Gyu Ju wants to prove his seriousness to De Hay, he returns to the sauna to meet her. De Hay's adoptive mother allows Gyu Ju to approach De Hay who speculated that she agreed to the deal. Gyu Ju invites De Hay to have dinner together even though De Hay refuses with a face that looks like she doesn't care. De Hay says that they are the family she chose. She will leave them when she wants to. It gave rise to speculation that Gyu Ju questioned why De Hay ended up with a family of fraudsters like them. Gyu Ju feels that he has wasted several years of time. Even though he was late he wanted to use his time well. He felt like he found the path to happiness. He was even seen approaching De Hay more and more often. In the midst of De Hay's adoptive family, Gyu Ju doesn't even hesitate to eat heartily, indicating that he is starting to get used to the family. De Hay, who was sitting next to him, could only sit quietly looking at him.